Hi, this is the uh, uh, fourth chapter uh, titled uh, Transistor or fourth lecture, Transistor Theory and DC Characteristic. And in this uh, uh, chapter, uh, uh, we will cover uh, transistor theory. And um, the main topics are channel formation, I V characteristic, the current voltage characteristic, and the capacitance voltage characteristics as well. And then we will go over non-ideal non characteristics. Those are uh, sort of uh, uh, transistor theory, which applies to long channel. Okay. And when, when we go to short channel transistor, there are two ends here, uh, we will, uh, we will uh, encounter those non-ideal ca characteristic in short channel uh, device. Okay. And uh, finally, we'll discuss some DC response issues. Okay, so uh, as part of the introduction, we want to uh, stress that the uh, the device that uh, that we are studying, the CMOS device, is uh, dependent or is controlled by voltage. It's it depends on the voltages uh, on its terminals. This is different from the BJT device. The BJT device uh, is uh, controlled by the current in the base. And, uh, uh, and and the VDE, uh, but uh, here we have we don't have the current controlling the device, rather complete control with the voltages in the device. Okay, now uh, so uh, let's see. We will uh, uh, try to uh, identify the uh, three regions where the device is um, uh, or experience uh, based on the voltages. Now, what they are showing right here, and let's go to some, really some whiteboard discussion here, and sometimes the, the slides are not uh, sufficient. Um, so basically, uh, what, what, what they are showing here is, uh, here is, here is our CMOS device. Okay, let's see if I get this thing. Right, so this is our CMOS device. We'll draw this device quite extensively uh, in this course. Um, the CMOS device, this is the source, this is the drain, and on top there comes a, the, the gate. The first layer here is the SiO2, and then on top of this IO2 comes the polysilicon. So this, this, is, this is the gate here, the polysilicon. Now, the interesting thing is that um, the control over, over this device happens by three voltages. The voltage on the source, we will call it VG, VS, sorry, VS. The voltage on the gate, we will call it VG. And the voltage on, uh, you know what, let's, let's choose another color here so that doesn't get uh, a bit boring. So, so the voltage on the source, the voltage on the gate, right, and the voltage on the drain. Okay, right, so, so these are the voltages. Now, we, we also here have the voltage on the bulk or the body. Okay, uh, these are four voltages, uh, but since this is always connected to ground, it doesn't really uh, show up in our analysis because it, it's, it's not changing. It's always fixed to ground. Now, here comes the, 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 the region of interest. Okay, this is what we call the region of interest uh, that, 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 that is where the channel will form. What do we mean by channel? You see, this is a semiconductor device, so which, which the, the, the name indicates that sometimes it conducts, sometimes it doesn't. And let's understand what are the mechanics of conduction and, and, what, and, and when it allows the current to flow. First of all, here, um, to, to begin with, we are going to zoom in this area. So we are going to, to zoom in this area right here. When 
um, the voltage of the gate is less than zero, here is the source and here is the drain, right? Okay, so, and, and, and here is the SiO2, right? And here is the, 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 the gate, right? This is the gate here. Okay. So, the, the source and the drain, they are of what type material? They are in plus material. So, this, <clears throat> they are in plus material. And here we have P plus material in the bulk. Why? Because 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 the bulk, which is which is here right here, this this is the substrate or the bulk, <clears throat> is a P type material. So those holes here, okay, are and 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 add to this that this bulk is connected to ground, right? So there is no conduction between the N plus material and the P plus and the P material, which is the substrate. This is identified as accumulation, accumulation, accumulation region. And the reason it's you have these all these holes that that is that is under the gate. So this is this is my gate here. All these holes under under the gate here accumulated under the gate this is not going to help me because no current will flow from uh, uh, from P to N or N to P because anyway if the, the, this diode here okay is reversed biased okay the diode between the, 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 the this is reversed uh, so so current will not flow flow from the P material to the N material there is a diode here but it is reversed biased because the P side of the diode is connected to ground so anyway there is no conduction okay no conduction so let's try to do one thing interesting which is what so let's draw this the same device here okay let's draw the same device here and we'll draw it again here so let's draw the same device again okay so one more time here is my gate here is my silicon dioxide. This is my drain, and this is my source. Okay. So again, SiO2, and this is the gate. So now let's assume that the the gate voltage is we raised it slightly. Now it is above zero, and and below a, a threshold goal, a gate we will call it VT. Well, we will define later on what is VT. And since there is a positive charge on this poly, what happens? This will repel the, 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 the holes. See, the holes are positive charge. And let's, let's use a different color here. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's use the green here. So the holes are of positive charge. And this is a positive charge. So this positive charge repels the positive charge away in the in the in the in the uh, body. So this region here, this region here, which is which is uh, uh, this one here, this region here now does not have any uh, uh, holes because they are repelled. We identify this region as, or our this state as as uh, depletion depletion and the reason we call it depletion because this area again this is our region of interest is depleted from the, 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 the holes as well as the electrons okay depleted completely uh, now let's raise the voltage a little more and again we'll draw this in red so here is here is my gate in my SiO2, this is my drain. This is my source. Okay. And now the gate is above Vt. And we'll define now Vt. That's the point we'll define Vt. So notice here, notice here what happened. Uh, no charges here. There's nothing here. Nothing. No charges. 
okay no charges now at this point if we increase the gate voltage above certain value we will see we will see that electrons will be attracted uh, or uh, uh, yeah to, 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 to the surface of the silicon the surface area beneath the SiO2 so this area now it will attract electrons and it will form what we call channel okay, so this is the form channel so when does that happen it happens as we raise the voltage above zero of VG we will go through the depletion then at some point those holes are repelled those holes are still repelled away and then comes the electrons from the bulk the 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 the, the, uh, the voltage uh, at, uh, will attract those electrons and place them under this region which is the channel now the interesting part is that this is in plus material and in plus material and then you have these electrons okay so and this and then you have these electrons so you can see that the electrons now can 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 move from the source to the drain okay so by the establishment of this channel we say the device now conducts so the device now conducts okay and we call this region the inversion region okay so this is the accumulation depletion inversion in the accumulation vgs was at or less than zero we raise slightly slightly the voltage above zero less than vt so we'll have the depletion region the, the channel is not formed rather we have uh, uh, depleted uh, region of holes and then we'll start attracting electrons to this region form channel here of electrons a layer of electrons that's the channel at the voltage at which this happened we'll call it vt okay and this called the inversion now the device conducts so now do we have current answer is no not yet what we need to do is that we need to have v voltages between the drain let's do this with a different color so let's let's uh, here uh, we need to have a voltage between the drain and the source differential voltage okay so if we have a differential voltage between the two then i'll see electrons i will see the electrons move to from the source to the drain to the positive and i'm assuming that vd is greater than vs okay so you see the electrons flow from the source to the drain and conventionally we say that the current goes from the drain to the source so there are two conditions for the current to flow. First condition is that VG, and we'll call this S now, we will reference our voltages typically with respect to the source, greater than the threshold volt. And we'll say that, so that, that, that this will establish the channel and VDS is greater than zero. This will attract electrons from the source to the drain. That, that, that will cause the current to flow from the source to the drain. Okay, um, uh, to, to, to some extent, we can simplify this as the faucet for water. Uh, let's, just, let's draw a, a faucet here. Okay, let's, for example, we have a faucet. Um, so let's say we have uh, we have a faucet here. Uh, see if we let's draw a, here. So this is this is kind of uh, a little faucet here. So we have okay, and then okay. So tab water tab okay. So, so for the water to come down from this thing, we need to have two conditions. First, you have to open the tab, the water tab, the faucet, 
which is VGS greater than VT. Second of all, you have to have water pressure because if you open the tap and there is no water, water will not come out, come down. So you have to have water pressure here, which is the second condition. For the water to flow, you have to open this and there has to be a pressure here. Okay, so two conditions. Similarly, we have to establish the channel and we have to establish differential voltage between the source, between the drain and the source for the current to flow. Okay, all right. With this explanation, we will go back to the slides and, uh, uh, and, and, and see. So here in the slides, he's, he's explaining the accumulation region and the uh, uh, depletion and inversion as we say that the, the accumulation region happens when VG is, great, uh, is less than VG is less than zero. And you have this is this is of course what he's not showing here this part here oops sorry uh, I shouldn't do that okay so let's go back and uh, so what, what he's not showing here is that is that this part here is the drain and this part here is the source okay but he's not showing that for, for just focusing on the channel. Okay, so so now this is the accumulation region. We have accumulated holes under uh, under the uh, SiO2, and then we raise slightly the voltage, Vg greater than it's positive, but not very strong positive. Then 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 this positive charge on the gate repels the holes, and we have depleted region. Then we raise we raise the continue raise the the. The, the, the VG above uh, VT, and now we st start attracting electrons and forming this channel. It's a layer of electrons where it will conduct between the drain and the source. So these are the accumulation, depletion, depletion, and the inversion. Why, in why it's called inversion? Because we have inverted the P-type to N-type, okay? And that is good because now we, ca we can conduct because remember that the source and the drain are in type material. Okay, so in type with an in type now we can conduct. Okay, so that inversion of this layer is what 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 this is now is our channel. Okay, which is gonna conduct the electrons from between uh, or conduct electricity between between source and the drain. Okay, All right. Now, uh, in, in this device, uh, 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 we have to, to, to understand that there are three main voltages. The voltage in the gate, the voltage in the source, the voltage in the drain. We, saw, we, we will reference them with the differential voltage. So, the differential voltage between the gate and the source equals to the gate, voltage on the gate, minus voltage on the source. The, the VDS, oh, I'm sorry, the VGS, is is the is the differential voltage between the gate and the drain the vds is the differential voltage between the drain and the vo the voltage on the source okay now one thing important is to understand that in actual silicon we don't have a sign that says this is the source and this is the drain we don't have in fact the, 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 this device is symmetrical uh, the source can be a drain and the drain can be a source. So, so how can we tell the source from the drain? For an in-mass, for an in-mass device, which we, which we, which we, what we are studying now, the the voltage of the drain is greater than the voltage of the source. And that's how I differentiate between the two. So, if this if this here, let's say for example, uh, one volt, and this is zero volt, then this be, this is the drain and this is the source. But suppose now, suppose this becomes two volt, and this is one volt. Now this becomes the drain, and this becomes the source. So the 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 to name any terminal as a drain for an in MOS, that terminal means it has a higher voltage than the other terminal, which is the source. Okay. Now, um, let's go back to the whiteboard and uh, establish one thing here: is that uh, Okay, so so in terms of in terms of the device, so CMOS device here and and uh, CMOS, 
and, and currently really we are studying the NMOS, uh, the device can be under the off or cut off state or under on. Okay, off it means that the channel is not established. We, we will say VGS is less than VT. And now you are saying, now what, why we are using S here? We would like to think of the source as uh, the, the reference of, all, of voltage for this device. And that's why you will see us saying VGS, VDS. So, so it's almost like a reference voltage for the device. If, if it is less than VT, then this device is off. And, and therefore, we will say that there is no current between the drain and the source. So, and we'll, we'll use this squiggly, almost, and later on we'll know that it's not, uh, it, it's, it has a, a value, but it's a small value. Now, if VGS, if VGS greater than VT, which means we have a channel here to conduct, this is, in this case, we have two state for the device. We have the linear state, okay, or resistive, and the saturation. And we will write this very quickly, and then we will explain it. In the linear, basically, uh, the VDS is less than VGS minus VT. And we'll explain this later on, but we'll just lay, lay it down very quickly here. And here in the saturation, VDS is, is greater than uh, uh, VGS minus VT. Okay? All right, so that's, that's the saturation. Okay, so that's the, uh, what we know about saturation and linear. So how many really uh, states we have? One, two, three, where two and three, the device uh, under the on state, which is the conduction. Okay, right. Okay, so let's go back to the slides and, 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 and uh, examine. Uh, okay, so now this device under three regions, the cutoff or the off state, linear and saturation. So under the cutoff, there is no channel basically. Okay, it is under the accumulation, no no channel, uh, and, and 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 basically IDS is zero. We 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 have we have no channel. Notice N type and P type, N type and and P type, and in N type and P type, no conduction between the two. Especially the P type is is grounded, so reverse bias uh, diode, so no conduction. Okay, now now uh, suppose now we have VGS greater than VT, so we have a channel here. Now a channel of electrons. Now we are conducting the the between uh, these two N pluses, which is the source and the drain. Okay, and in this case you can see that. That the current, the current flows from where to where. So where the electrons will will travel from the source to the drain, and and conventionally the, the electron is reverse uh, the reverse direction of the current. Uh, uh, the current is the re reverse direction of the electron. So you will see that the current flows like so. IDS. Okay, uh, but but we are assuming that we have some kind of a voltage here on the on the VDS. Okay, some kind of a voltage here. All right, so let's raise this voltage slightly. As we raise the, 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 the VD uh, voltage, we'll see that the current increases more and more, the IDS. So we'll say that IDS increases almost linearly with VDS. The more we increase VDS, the more we increase the current. The channel is established. It's established. So the current is, est is uh, the channel is established by the VGS, okay? The faucet is open, the tab is open. Now, uh, the more we apply pressure on, on VD, uh, uh, on, 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 on the, uh, which means increase the drain, the, 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 the drain voltage, the more the current will increase, okay? Now, notice as we increase the current, uh, we will get to a point where the, the notice this channel get at a point and pinched, and pinched means is supposedly the channel has a layer of electrons from the source all the way to drain but because of the high voltage of the drain okay 
the high voltage of the drain here we increase it so much which is which is greater than uh, when when vds becomes greater than vds minus, minus vt this channel is pinched meaning there is no electron here no electrons okay so once say well no electrons then this channel stops conducting and the answer no the channel continues to conduct it will it will take electrons here but at that at this point here the electron gets swept by the electrical field to the drain they swept like a vacuum cleaner exactly okay but what what happened is that the current saturates meaning the more you increase vds it will not increase the current the current value stays the same that's why we call it saturation so in saturation region the current does not increase with vds in linear the current increase with vds so that's that's a major. so what we will do here let's go to the whiteboard here and uh, uh, quickly here uh, we will we will establish a relationship between uh, between uh, and we will revisit it again and again what we we would like to always to draw a a curve between v uh, between the current ids and the voltage vds okay so this is this is now our device okay so this is our device now you have here the source you have the drain okay the drain and you have here the sio2 and you have here the gate right so this is the gate now notice that what we have here is that we would like to to understand the value of this current the value of this current which is from the ids okay so when when the channel is established okay and we'll try to 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 plot ids versus versus vds so obviously when the device is on okay and and people uh, uh, did that and they found out that the value of the current goes like this okay and 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 obviously you can expect this is what we refer to as linear region and this is saturation and in the linear region in the linear region the value of the current the value of the current increases with vds but once we get in saturation the value of the current stays the same even if you increase vds so what's the point here what is this the breaking point it is actually when vds equals vgs minus vt this is the border line okay now this curve is one of for one of the vgs like for vgs uh, equals let's say two volt now we can draw another current uh, uh, curve like here when vgs equals to one volt we can draw another curve here when when uh, uh, vgs equals 0.5 volt so these curves are different okay they get higher and higher by increase vgs they are not one curve for every vgs we have a curve but for all these curves have two regions linear region and saturation region and the borderline between the two of them is vgs minus uh, vds equals vgs minus vt which is which is this one here this is this is the borderline here and it is vds equals vgs minus vt and in the next lecture we will uh, discuss more about the characteristic of the of the current and we will stop uh, at this uh, at this slide and we'll discuss the current voltage characteristic in the next lecture thank you very much.